a lot of people are trying that though. Why do, why are they trying that? I I've always you know um, I've always had the theory that there's there's people that there's music people and there's people that like music for what it can give them, whether mm. it's social status, whether it's economically, mm. whether it's just for the gram. Mm. <laughs> do, you, yeah. do you know what I mean? Um, so I think because obviously everyone's in a rush with everything, aren't they now? Mm. No matter what it is, you know, whether people are starting up businesses, whether people are doing music, yeah. whether people are doing even in sports, you know, we're, we're, mm. everyone's trying to enhance everything and, and get to where they want to get quicker than the next person. Mm. Um, it really is, yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. It really is a rat race. The killer, killer, bo- 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 podcast. The killer, killer, official <laughs> Street Culture TV. Beatbox Creative. Killer Keller. And we here to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Send it up. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast live and direct. Central London or as central as you need to be. How sponsors the mighty GK Nifty Heads have a massive 100,000 play to earn NFTs to give away to the streets. Just hit the link in the description or go to gkniftyheads.com and get ready for Hoddle Wars Summer 2024. Inside the house today, <laughs> Nottingham is in the building. Uh, this is a channel, you know, on this channel we like to endorse acts that are on the emergence and uh, yeah, we champion them from the get go. And this is certainly one of the causes. Big shout out to Kong, the artisan, um, and all the old Poland camp, um, a new flourishing artist that is about to drop album and science this year. Jay Little's inside the place. Hold tight, no, I know. Bro, respect, man, respect. <laughs> Big respect. That's a fantastic intro. I love that. <laughs> you're right. I mean, I, you know, it comes. It comes with great warrant because when you get that intro from a producer, UK producer like yeah. Kong the Artisan, yo, that's that's an entry hole that anyone would Yeah, 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 for real, definitely, definitely, yeah. man. Um, yeah. What's been going on? Now, how's Nottingham? What's happening? Nottingham, whoa. Nottingham's good. Nottingham's always, not, Nottingham's always been good. There's always lots going on. Yeah. Um, you know, as, 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 as you're well aware of, there's always been an elite level of top tier MCs, <laughs> rappers. Yeah. Um, they're in elite. abundance. Yeah, it's let's get been, into that. Let's yeah, get into let's that get, because let's, obviously let's you're the let's, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, Okay, so first of all, we've got Capo. Uh, we've got Lee Ramsey, Scorsese. You, who else you, we got? Collins? No, bro, you, you've got it. You, <laughs> that's it. I'm just right getting there. the ball rolling. Yeah, yeah. Scorsese, <laughs> Charisma, Joe Digger, Two Tone, Stan the Boy Wonder, um, Juggernaut, Vandal Savage. Crazy. Yeah, it's, it's trust me, steeped in, 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 a, in a deep history of elite penmanship. 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 See what I'm saying? Word smithery. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and I have to say as well, you've got some DJs as well, you know, uh, um, uh, Mr. Jam. Mr. Jam, yeah. yeah, um, yeah and yeah. then we've got your cousin, Shorty Blitz. Shorty Blitz, yeah, Shorty Blitz. Also um, from, from from out the Ville, the legendary DJ Fever. Oh, DJ Fever legendary. Yeah, 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 that's the big bro right there. Which was before they were out the Ville, it was called... Um, yeah, it's... Just pure Genius. Pure Genius! Come on, man, I know my... I know my... I know <laughs> Old my tight stuff, Trev, man. you know what it is. Trev, <laughs> Courtney, Joe Buda. Joe Buda, big yeah, up Joe yeah, Buda. Yeah. Yeah, for real, man. Man, these are these are legacy holding names. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Still going strong. Still, still going yeah, strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, definitely. Talk to me about the scene up there. So, do you get like regular club nights and stuff like that up in? Um, I feel like it's in in today's climate with like nightlife and things like that. It's I don't think it is what it was anywhere no, really and truly. True. But um, Joe Buddha actually he holds a plethora of different type of niche events that are catered to hip hop in various different ways. Oh, that's cool. Um so he's got so he's got his studio and he's got a great little space where he just holds not, like live events and kind of like our own little club scene as it were. Really? Yeah, so there's some dope little parties and stuff that go on there uh, for quite a few years now. Um Is that how it goes down, yeah? Yeah, yeah, and, and, there, and so there's that, that that little area. There's um so there's a, a brand by the name of Mim, Mim Clothing. Mm-hmm. They also hold like similar events that cater towards whether it's hip hop, jazz, dubstep, those types of things, and mm. it's, it's 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 like its own little underground party scene almost. Yeah, yeah. it's like, um, and I feel like today in today's climate, also, it's like when it comes to nightclubs, I, I don't know about what it's like down here as much, but everywhere is just closing down. Yeah, if it's, not off, yeah. it's like the, the nightclubs slowly yeah. coming to an end. Yeah. But 
we, we think on our feet, don't we? That's yeah. what we do. Do, 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 you know, do you know what I mean? Yeah. In, in, in this culture, we, we find ways to, you know, make it work for us, yeah. as it were. I agree. Like, that has been the case in many different generations with the record industry, going yeah. independent, then, you know, those, mo those moves almost sent signals that that transfer into technology, we would be the first ones to get in there. Obviously, Spotify's a different beast now, yeah. but we were dealing with SoundCloud and everything, you yeah. know, just entrepreneurship. And I think there's something to be said when people uh, uh, use their resources and pull back very much like Joe Bud is doing yeah. and um, making a cottage industry of their own. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And um, also gives them a chance to, to, to showcase their own music and stuff. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because he works with a, a plethora of artists, which you know, wouldn't necessarily get played in a nightclub and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. when people go to just hear good music, there's not really a preference on what it is, as long as it falls under that mm -hmm. umbrella of mm -hmm. the good music. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. it's, um, yeah, it's nice. It's nice, especially summertime. Like now everyone's coming outside again. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's, um, it makes it all the more fun and exciting when, when, when everyone's, you know, enjoying the sunshine too. Do you know what I mean? For so, sure. For sure. Um, <clears throat> sticking with that and, um, the expose of new music. Um, seems like Nottingham, I mean, again, you know, just throwing more names out there. Simone, Mr. Four Five, Heavy yeah, Bronx. Yeah, 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 do you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? So I'm like mad, mad, yeah. you know, era defining rappers and artists. Do you think, like, there's, particularly in the event of like clubs cl closing down, uh, Pirate Radio going digital, do you think there's enough outlets for like new music within certain scenes? Um, I do and I don't because I feel like. Part of me thinks that ultimately, if you're one of these types of people that wants to search for new music, I feel like now with the way that technology is, you're gonna know ways to go and find it. Mm -hmm. But I suppose like, you know, a lot of people like back in the day used to stumble upon new music. Yeah. So it's kind of, I guess, finding a balance of how to put them in these places for people that wouldn't necessarily go out of the way to look for new music, but also True. like to find new music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, even though technology makes things easy, I still think we've probably got a little bit more lazy with how we, do you know what I mean? Because when we talk about even like producers and stuff, it's very rare that I have conversations with producers that will go crate digging, for instance. <laughs> do you know what I mean? That's, <laughs> that's a whole different thing in itself. <laughs> and I think with, you know, things like Splice and things like that that make it easier to find your samples and stuff like that. Hell yeah. You know, like when I talk about people like Fever, actively goes and digs in the crates and do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, OG so level. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then it's, it's, it's funny because like there's the re-emergence of vinyl now. Mm. So, you know, for it to kind of be a foreign concept to new producers to do the great digging and things like that, it's just one of them. Um, mm. Yeah, it's, I don't think there's a real out-and-out -out answer for that, yeah. you know. I think there's people that will want to go and do it and there's people that will happily stumble upon it but won't necessarily go out of the way. Discovery is a good... And it, a good it is, definitely. It is, isn't it? Even like with Spotify and things like that, you have like your little discovery things. Yeah. I use Spotify frequently myself, yeah. but... Sometimes I might play the, the on the mm. little discovery playlist or whatever. Um, and surprise yourself. Yeah, yeah, Just by yeah, like yeah. the look of an album cover. Or yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. I still do that. I still bug out on an art piece of artwork and I was like, yeah, that's a bit of me. Yeah. Before even hearing the music. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, that's, yeah. And I think that's that's something that's, um, you know, that's quite prominent in underground rap at the minute because some of the cover art you see at the minute, it's like everything. from the likes of West Side Gun the kind of, and Griselda. Yeah. They make like the artwork a piece of the project itself. How do they do that? Um, That's crazy. Because it it really does embody. You know, this guy is like Sonny Jim as well. He's really good at the shouts art. Shouts out to Sonny Jim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. he seems to know what his he knows what his brand looks like. Yes, that's the thing. Yeah. That's the that, that, that's the key for me, knowing what the brand looks like, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I think um perhaps Griselda kind of wow. Their influences were Wu Tang and things like, but these were brand heavy. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm. That's crazy. Uh, you, because what we're talking about here, uh, um, psychological means and ways of getting into, uh, getting new audience um, eyes and ears, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and in tw 2024, whenever you're watching this, because you know the struggle's real. Doesn't have to be in one particular time. <laughs> uh, it just takes a little bit of ingenuity and a bit of, yeah. you know what I mean? A bit, a bit of thinking outside the box. Yeah, definitely. Um, and that's a big thing for me, obviously coming from, from Nottingham, it's a lot, it's a lot different. You don't realize how, how little there is back home 
when you come in, it's like everywhere's buzzing, everyone's doing something. There's, mm. there's, you know, there's so many different variations of whether it's whether it's marketing, promotion, or whatever. Mm. And um, yeah, for me, coming into this space and trying to kind of figure out, like, right, okay, so how do I kind of make a little bit of noise and kind of get people to start, you know, saying my name and get seen a little bit more. Luckily, obviously, with with the help of Kong, like things like that are, mm. you know, a bit easier to kind of obtain, like knowing yourself and stuff mm. like that. But at the same time, it's like you have to kind of sit back and go, right, how do we approach this a little bit differently mm. to kind of stand out without, like I'm a man that's like, I'm not really trying to do the most for the sake of being seen. Mm. But if I'm going to do something strategic, it kind of has to be done tastefully and, mm. you know, make sense in terms of what my character is as a person. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Um, and it's fun trying to figure that out. You know, we're in the process of figuring that out. It's, you know, I enjoy doing things like such as this and just, you know, yeah. networking, meeting people and just trying to leave a mark wherever I go. But, you know, like you say, it's, there's no rules, but, you know, there's, it's, it, it would be good to, you know, stumble across something that's like my thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, know, you, you know what I mean? But yeah, at the same time, you can't force it. No. So it's, um, yeah, for me, as long as it's organic and, 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 and it makes sense, um, I think it just makes sense just trying, trying things. You know, mm. um, whatever that may be is r remains to be seen. Can you be too ahead of the curve? Could you be too ahead for your own good? If you say you stumble on something mm. uh, pre flavor of the month, pre genre defining, pre sound that is not out there yet. Like, could that have a benefit or negative impact, do you think, on that discovery and the recruitment of eyes and ears and fan base? Whoa. <laughs> hey, it. it's Killer Keller podcast. That's a, that's Yo, a, you was feeling it when you started. When you I was that feeling it in yeah, yeah, yeah. my mouth, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's a tough one, you know. That's yeah. a tough one, isn't it? It's yeah. um, yeah. I, su I suppose it. Yeah, it's, yeah. I suppose what what what's what is that moment where you identify it and what do you do with it in that moment? Yeah. Do you run with it? Do you sit on it and just let it grow its own legs, or yeah. do you go right? This is. Okay, boom, yeah. let's see what this... Because people create their, have their own interpretation of shit anyway. If you're kind of winging something on, a, on, a, on an idea that you're ahead of the curve anyway, then nine times out of ten, if you ain't, master, if you ain't patterned up exactly what your, uh, your package is, then people make their own interpretations and that can lead you astray as well, can't yeah, it? Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. Because especially like with mu music that I've like made throughout the years, to ask somebody, they would probably say... they would put me under the conscious rapper category uh, conscious. which is true in a sense but not so much as it's preachy but then on the flip side i'll smoke all of these rappers yeah, 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 do you yeah, get what i mean yeah. so it's finding the balance yeah. and that and trying to figure out a way because even with this project that we've just been working on there's kind of elements of both of those things ah. without it being from one extreme to the other ah do you know what i mean do you so think the tone of the beats exemplify that um, because you know sometimes yeah 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 you know yeah, yeah yeah um, the aggression the the, the. yeah because I don't really make a point of saying right I want to make a song about this 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 and this it's my reaction to what mm. I feel um, sorry to what I hear like yeah. in terms of how I feel which leads me to 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 create so it's like yeah for the most part but then obviously sometimes you can try and flip it on its head when it's something might make you feel a certain way and you think okay let's go in a different direction mm. from mm. what people may assume from hearing mm. this this soul sample or whatever the case may be. But um, for, yeah, for the most part, for me, I just go off that undeniable gut feeling. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But um, I always find those kind of more conscious rappers, Ty, rest in peace. Yes, rest in peace, Ty, Example, uh, very outspoken, uh, highly opinionated in, in favour of an audience that want that. Yes, yeah, yeah. That's um, a brand in itself, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, because I feel like a lot of people want to want to be saved. They want to hear that voice that kind of helps them get through to a through, through a hard time and stuff like that. Yeah, um, trusted voice. Yeah, yeah. And I think I I kind of go into that knowing that okay, I understand that people a lot of people expect that and and appreciate that when they do hear my music and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But at the same time, I'm no saint. I know that I have my own things that I have to go through and stuff like that. I've, like we've got a song on kind of about that fighting. That kind of, it's it's almost like a who do I who who am I to tell you this that and the fourth when I've got to deal with this that and the fourth behind the scenes in my own life, 
So it's a. Um, I want to cast yourself slightly hypocritical. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's um, quite hard for people to accept. I think it's quite hard for people to accept that of writing it. Yeah. And sometimes you're, it becomes a dear diary. Yes. Yeah. 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 So you have to be. I feel like you have to be careful yeah. uh, because you can kind of. Yeah, it can become a bit of a pity party when it's yeah, yeah, when it's yeah. a bit of a dear diary type yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? But then there's people that relate to that. You know, you fill the space in someone's record collection, um, and that's that's the key. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for the most part, man, as 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 long as it's it's heard and it's felt, mm. um, even if people aren't going through those things, if they if they understand it and they can appreciate it, then it's done its job. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because I just I, I I believe that when you have like you know when you have these gifts, I think like, feel like you have a certain responsibility, like the whole the old Spider Man saying, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But it's true. It's true. Like if you've got a voice and a platform, I think you should use it for the right things because especially in the climate down here. In terms of what what happens on the roads and stuff like that, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, um, are echoing the, the the sentiments of people that are into the badness on the roads, mm. and that's the stuff that catapults and does the million, ten million views, and is constantly yeah. on the radio and stuff. So, um, yeah, you know, I feel like you need that balance of people that kind of go the opposite way. Yeah, you, know you do. Oh man, like you're mad. Bands and acts that have stood the test of time just for having good music. Then it needs to be, you know, them trying to, you know, magpie a certain style of one genre just because it's the flavour of the month. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't yeah, work yeah, like yeah, that because, yeah. like, sincerity, authenticity, yeah. them sort of words come into, come yeah, into question, yeah. don't they? Um, and I feel like when it is like that, it is, like you say, bands that stand the test of time, I feel like a lot of these artists that kind of make this yeah you, you know you've got microwave meals you've got gourmet meals mm, mm, do you know what i mean the mm. gourmet meal takes four or five hours to to cook mm. do you know what i mean mm-hmm. you've got to let that simmer mm. for a piece the microwave mm. it's just the one ping and that's you, you can have that right now yeah, do you yeah, know yeah. what i mean but in a week's time that's that should have been dashed in the bin <laughs> do you know what i'm saying yeah but do you think the dynamics of a, of a, a new artist lend favor to do you think they lend favour to being that broad in your release program? In you she's using the, the food analogy, creating an element of junk food, an element of you know what I mean ketchup sachet <laughs> <laughs> for the short form content. <laughs> uh, but you know, then having the gourmet Michelin star kind of I, I don't like know, all like all yeah different dynamics that allow for people to consume you in any which way you want because they might be busy. You see, they might just only have five minute window in their uh, in their busy gym schedule or something. <laughs> so yeah, I yeah I understand I, I understand. Oh, that it's point. just an analogy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you know, I don't I don't think that way. So ultimately, I don't. I, I seen um, an interview with um, Rick Rubin mm. and. One of the things in this interview that stood out is like, oh, when you're creating, forget forget the audience, create for yourself. Mm. And um, that's true. Yeah, because I think there's nothing wrong with it. You know, if you've got if if, if you've got all the ingredients that, to succeed, and all the resources around you to make these things happen, and do a little bit of this and a little bit of that, then you know, mm. do you, do you thing. But um, all I know is what I love. Mm. Do you get what I mean? So yeah. I've only ever wanted to make things that make me feel the way that things that I love mm. do. So I've never really given any time to, 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 to that analogy that you gave, that you just gave there, but I understand when people sit back and just try and cater to four or five different it's audiences. It's hard, isn't it? I but mean, yeah, that's, that, that, yeah, that's hard in itself. And for me, it's like having the cohesion from the start of a project to the end of a project to where there's a feel throughout. Mm. And I think, um, but that's just me. That's that, you know I mean? That's not, that's not something I think everybody has to do. Mm. But, you know, that's just kind of how I like a project to sound, like what I make and what I listen to. I don't know yeah. about yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, um, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, things that I listen to are just really broad, but I think what, what the Rick Rubin effect he's saying, I think holds a lot of weight. Um, mainly because <clears throat> music should stand the test of time and, and you also got to bear in mind that you're going to be playing the shit for the rest of your life if it does blow up, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I feel sorry for people, you know what I mean? Coldplay or Razorlight playing them songs that are just so depressing. <laughs> like, oh, give me another music any day. But but here's the thing. You you have to cultivate music. And I believe that maybe nowadays, the way music is kind of shipped and and 
yeah. u- used for soundtracks to video yeah, yeah, yeah. reels and TikToks and stuff. And, and you know, we're only talking twenty twenty four here, but it's more of a soundtrack to people's lives. It's more of an art form than a music. Do you know what I mean like music is music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's that simple, isn't it? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there is a process yeah, we're, yeah, we're, yeah, we're yeah. talking about. Yeah. You can't just chop it up and then put it into a, f- a food blender, <laughs> ready mix in 20 minutes in the microwave. Yeah. But so, a lot of people are trying that, though. Why, yeah. do, why are they trying that? I, I've always, you know, um, I've always had the theory that there's, there's people, that there's music people and there's people that like music for what it can give them, whether yeah. it's social status, whether it's economically mm. whether it's just for the gram yeah, <laughs> do, you, yeah, do you know what I mean um, so I think because obviously everyone's in a rush with everything aren't they now mm. no matter what it is you know whether people are starting up businesses whether people are doing music yeah. whether people are doing even in sports you know we're, we're, mm. everyone's trying to enhance everything and, and get to where they want to get quicker than the next person mm. um, it really is yeah, stuff, yeah yeah it really is a rat race out there in that, in in every aspect, the way when you actually think about it, yeah, yeah, um, there's there's not there's not a lot of people that really want to take time and hone the craft and and I and I think that's just from just today's climate from social media when everyone when you see all these things yeah. you see all these successes every single day every time you look on your timeline everyone's got a success story and you're just sitting there like. Pfft. I'm not I'd, a success story. How do, I, how do I get to that? Let me just... Okay, my man is this guy. This, okay, we can do that. But, you know what I'm saying? So it's... But everything, yeah, everything's a process. You've got to trust the process. Yeah, that's why you got to trust the process. I'm an Arsenal fan. I know about trusting the process. <laughs> 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 I know about well, you're that. kind of you're right in the neck of the woods. You're not going to get mugged at any of any time soon. Um, but uh, trusting the process. How much of it do you think, as an artist, you do, um, you know, like, look at your own actions? what you do in your day to day what are your patterns like do you go on uh youtube all the time is that your source of play or like you say spotify some people have got a real bug to bear you know axe to grind with spotify even though they go and listen to music there themselves i find that interesting and that, that sometimes people don't replicate the patterns that they have and expect a different outcome of success do you know what i mean yeah um I... I think this is something that I've learned like recent, recently, like the last couple of years, spending a lot of time down here, mm. just seeing how people are moving, shaking and popping and everything's done with a purpose. Mm. Um, to where like when we just like romanticise and fantasise about things in Nottingham, it's like, you know, we always have them conversations like, oh, if we lived in London, we would have bust time ago and mm-hmm. those types of things. We have an idea of, but the hustle and bustle doesn't really exist as much where I'm from, there's not everything's not going off around mm. there. There's not the opportunity there, so it's like now, like for instance, I'm in position to move around in a certain way in, in and around certain people. I know that there's a lot of legwork mm. that has to be done. Um, whereas, you know, when you're back at home, it's like you're just trying to make a little bit of noise so someone hears you from afar, and then you can go and do a little show. Mm. But then you just go back and then you're trying to figure out how to replicate that. And I think it's yeah, in terms of like. Like this week, I've sched- I've I've got a schedule for the whole week, and I'm just moving around everywhere and doing everything, and just trying to network, and um, that's something I've had to kind of put myself in position to for to to, mm. to change and take a different approach because you can't you can't do nothing stood still. Do you get what I mean? Um, oh, man, you just kind of triggered my thinking as you were talking. I was like, well, you coming down here? Well. It's- you're, you're coming out of your habitat to us, mm. which is fucking great. It, I, I feel like it just needs to be like a central hub in London, I guess, because it's the capital, where whether it's radio or other, there should be slots within that radio station that is purely focused on Nottingham hip hop, f- purely focused on Manchester, purely yeah. focused on Bristol. Do you know what I mean? And have these moments. Of, co- of course, th- th- you know it's always good to have them all integrated. But I think having a central focus that it can be broadcast further out to other people in other towns. And yeah, because you know I've been to where was I? I was in Cardiff um, 
like back in the last year doing a show and just talking with artists and stuff like that and it's it's very similar mm. to Nottingham even though Cardiff's like a you know it's capital it's, itself yeah, yeah. Um, but they seem to really struggle and it's very um, it's very similar to what it's like in, in don't get me wrong there's so many good musicians in Nottingham you know mm-hmm. and it's there's, there's always events on, there's always showcases and things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. But it doesn't seem to expand from that a lot of the time. And it's no disrespect to anything or anyone, but that's just that that's yeah, just yeah. that's just it's just the truth. And when you talk about places like Manchester, Manchester's bubbling. Like yeah, yeah. Manchester's it's, it's such a dope place. Crazy. But it's like where Nottingham is the East Midlands, we're smack bang in the middle. So it's like it's one of those places where you just kind of pass through. Same with Derby, same with Leicester. You just kind of pass through there to get to where, you, whether it's Manchester to I London. I love all those towns as well. Like, yeah, that's what I mean. There's, there's, there's a lot of dope. There's a lot of dope things, and I feel like it's just so easy to overlook because, like, when you look at the climate at the minute um, down here, you've got um, you've got artists like I don't know if you wear Young T and Bugsy. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah so obviously they're fr- they're, they're, they're from not, Nottingham, yeah, but they, they they're down here and they're here now. Do you know what I mean? In Leicester, they've got Trillery Banks, but she does her yeah, thing yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, they represent the city. Is cities. that treacherous to people from outside, in them other... You know, where they migrate to over here? Is that... Is that slightly... No, no, I think it just... People celebrate like, that? Yeah, because... So when, because it said there's an, another artist, uh, Brucey. I don't know if you were a Brucey. Mm, yeah, of course, yeah. That's, 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 my, that's my guy. Nice. Um, that's my guy. Um, so, yeah, so when you kind of see and that... And Snowy. And Snowy as Snowy, well. yeah, yeah, big one. Snowy, yeah, of course. Come. Um... And kind of when you see that from afar and you know that people are moving in and, in and around mm. certain spaces such as this, mm. you're kind of like, oh, yeah, they're doing the thing if they're down there mm. and they're making up a little bit of noise. Window kid. Window kid, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's my Window guy. kid, yeah, that yeah. is my, oh, that's my, that's my guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Such, a, such a character. Yeah, yeah. Such, see, there's so many such people. Such a character. Yeah, and I just feel like there's, there's, I've always had an affliction for not him. Um, since a youngster, so yeah, I, I, I write it and uh, more power, more power to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a big artist, um, an up and coming artist from from Nottingham. Well, she's between Nottingham and Cambridge. Jaya had a dream. Um, she's making some serious noise right about now. Wow. Um, big ups to Zooter as well. Produces a lot of her music and the elements. Um, Mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's kind of one of those things again. Again, like she's in a very, very good space at the minute, and she's actively doing things down here she just got a slot on glastonbury and stuff like that so it's kind of again going back to the whole is it treacherous it's, it's not you kind of look and, and admire kind of and go, keep oh, it going. they're doing their thing if they're if if, if they're in and around there keep then it moving yeah 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 i so agree it's kind it's of like, about that. yeah so that's kind of my ethos now it's like you you've got to be moving in and around other places mm. um because the world's it's, it's big it's big. Of, the world's a big place the world's big. so you know um yeah. and it's like for me, I I, I want to be around around the world. Yeah, you know, it's obviously people listen to the music in different countries and things like that. But you know, being in them spaces mm. and, and 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 connecting with the people, doing things like this in mm. in a Sweden, in a Spain, or wherever. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's mm. um, yeah, it's yeah. So the album is on the way. The album is on the way. We've not set a date yet. Um, it's coming mm. out on Nolan Poland Records. Shout out to Con. Come on. Um, so the album is called Masa. That's M A W S A, and that's um, that's like broken English for for master, like patois. Mm. That's what my grandma used to address me as, and my dad, and and shorty blitz and stuff. She'd be like, "Yes, Masa." So that's kind of like the thing. That's and, that, um, so like from that, you know, the, I kind of peeped it from a few years back and I thought, you know what, that's actually sick. Like from a kid, I was addressed in such a way. Like, do you know when you kind of, the way that you carry yourself throughout life, like even with, as an MC, it's kind of like the unspoken rule. Mm. Like you, you can't be saying that anyone's better than you. You have, no, to, no, you no. have, to, you have to portray yourself yeah, as the yeah. best ever. You know, master of ceremonies. You have to master the craft, be a master of your own destiny. And then I put people like, you know, I was called master from, from, from a kid. So, you know, We've put this we've put this project together and it's kind of morphed into it. We had a different idea essentially, but it's just morphed into what it is now. Um it's 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 wrapped up now and it's yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. I feel like it's my my illmatic, my reasonable doubt. It's it's a body of work that might shake some things up for real. It's um yeah, 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 yeah. I've I have the the the, the utmost confidence. In what it is that me and Kong have yeah, done and what we're he doing. He took that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, I'm, I'm one of them. I'm one of them ones. 
I'm well, on yeah, a demo. Because, you know, you've, you've, yeah. you know, you've honed your craft. Yeah, um, yeah. You know what you're talking about. This is professionalism. It's, yeah. it's peak, you know what I mean? When people come in with their uh, magnum opus. Magnum opus? Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. You know, this is it. Yeah. You know, um, I'm more power to that, my brother. Thank you so much for passing through. No, bro, it's been, it's, it's, it's been, it's been a pleasure, man. Yeah, we just chopped it's it up. Pleasure. Just a casual... Uh, quick cuppa. Quick cuppa, yeah, I mean. Um, big shout out to everybody, knots and beyond. And uh, more importantly, um, make sure you check out more of this young man here. We've got a lot of things popping off on the Nolan Poland camp, that's for sure. Big up Kong artists and uh, Jay Little's inside the place. And uh, yeah, sharing is caring. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Right? Crime don't pay, but neither do they. <laughs> if you stay lucky, people don't talk to anyone, I wouldn't. Easy! Yeah, it was nice.